Greetings Portal Masters, it's Lou from Activision here at Skylanders HQ and we're going to take a look today at a brand new level playthrough. I'm going to take you through the Phoenix Sanctuary and we're going to check out some new capturable villains, some new Skylanders to play as, and maybe bring back a fan favorite. So let's go check it out. Seeing all these birds kind of reminds me of something. What the? Hey, stranger. I mean, Tessa. Hi. Hello there. You're looking well. You're not so bad yourself. Come on, let's land right over there. When I heard that evil chef Pepperjack was coming after the Phoenix Chicken, I came up here to help protect her. I should have known that the Skylanders would be on the case. That's right, Tessa. Wherever danger lurks, you are sure to find heroes like us. And since there are no other heroes like us, it's just going to be us. Uh, right. Anyway, I was thinking that we could go scout ahead, try to find the Phoenix Chicken while the Skylanders take care of the bad guys. Oh, and on the way. I can catch you up on all the latest adventures of Flynn the Pilot. Spoiler alert, they're all awesome. All right, looks like Tessa's back and ready to help the Skylanders, as well as help Flynn learn how to fly a bird. So right at the start here, looks like we've got some Traptanium. Let's bust open this bird cage. It looks like we've got some awesome treasure here. Let's crack open this safe insides of the treasure chest. Hey, look what I found. Always make sure to scour the levels trying to find all the little last bits of loot so that way you can get new upgrades for your Skylanders. So let's go talk to Tessa and Flynn and Whiskers. Hey Skylander, have you seen any crazy nuts hanging around this place? Hey, I'm sitting right here, you know. No, silly. I wasn't talking about you. I mean these magical boingo nuts that grow here. And if you take one over to a spot like this, kablam! Instant vine bridge. All right, let's put Tessa's theory to the test. I got one of these boingo nuts. And kablam! Instant vine bridge. Unstoppable. It looks like I see some eggs up ahead. Wonder what's inside of those. <laughs> Looks like we got some executioners here. Thankfully, I've got Wallop, one of our trap masters. He has these epic traptanium hammers, and he is more than up to the challenge. Even so, I have this awesome upgrade where I'll shoot the shockwave of the hammers forward. Now we did an unboxing of Wallop earlier on, so you might want to check that video out and see how really, really cool the toy is with his epic giant hammers. Bird travel still freaks me out. All right, I got another Boingo nut, so let's give it another kablam. And create a vine bridge, which we can cross continue forward. What we're trying to do in this level is actually stop Chef Pepperjack from stealing the Phoenix Chicken's explosive eggs because what he wants to do is create a giant explosive breakfast burrito to take out the Skylands. Thankfully these birds will clear the way for us. Let's pull this switch and see what happens. All right, it looks like it'll open up an area for us to be able to progress onwards. And it gave us a quick glimpse into the legendary treasure for this level. It's an awesome golden egg up here. You can see it. And I wonder how we're going to get to it. Let's see if we can find it. Shred ahead, troll two. Ah! Mmm! Alright, looks like we're going up against a Shred Knot. 
Now, I'm playing as a Trap Master, and they get an awesome damage boost against all capturable villains, which is why you can see we got Wallop's Hammers here glowing. And thankfully, I've got an awesome ability to throw a tantrum and take out the Shred Knot. Put a tech trap in the portal to trap this villain. Now what do we do, Troll 2? Just play it cool, Troll 1, like me. All right, and so now I'm going to utilize a tech trap to be able to capture the Shred Knot. Hey, do you think that Vortex is a good thing, Troll 2? No! Ugh, it's so cramped in here, I can't even tell which troll I am. You are troll one, I think. Shred not trapped. All right, so now we've got the shred knot. Let's assign him to our trap and take control of this giant chainsaw tank driven by two trolls. Oh! Shredhead's in the house. Shredhead's in the house, and you can hear he's got a rockin' tune. Be able to, you know, get your groove on while taking out some enemies here. And you'll see I'm able to charge up the lumberjack saw to actually spin it around the tank, really allowing you to clear the area so that way you can take out all these melee trolls rushing after you. We've got our troll there, being able to hop in and take out that lob goblin. So I'll switch back to Wallop, get that awesome pretzel there. Let's take a look around, see if we see the location of the legendary treasure. Looks like by, by standing on this cage, it actually lowers it, so that way you can get the legendary treasure. And so we've got the legendary egg, a legendary treasure that once we've collected and go back to Skylands Academy, we can actually use it to decorate the area. And I get 500 gold for it. Not too shabby. So let's hop back up and continue onward. We are the Blocker Birds, protectors of the Phoenix Chicken. We won't let anyone get past us. Although we have been standing here a long time and are pretty hungry. All right, so it looks like we're up against these blocker birds. And they're not going to let us pass. But they're a little hungry, so let's see if mood for Boingo Nuts. Oh, Boingo Nuts! <laughs> All right, now that we've lured them away, we can move on forward. Looks like we've got a Chill Bill and a couple of trolls here. Let's take these guys out. Ooh, good thing I dodged Chill Bill there. Let's see? Now, if you ever get frozen, you're going to have to mash out, or if you tag team to your villain, you'll instantly break free of the ice. That's a secret tip that really only the best portal masters know how to use. So now let's build this beautiful vine bridge here. Now, all this, you know, all these trees and all these bridges and vines really remind me of someone. So I'm actually going to take my Traptanium based Trap Master here, Wallop, off of the portal and bring in kind of a classic character, the original Skylander giant, Tree Rex. Be afraid of the bug! So we fully support every single Skylander from all of the previous games. So that means if you like to swap force character or you really preferred playing as a giant, or even one of the original core Skylanders from Skylander Spyro's Adventure, you can. And they're able to tag team back and forth with the villains at will and capture them. So let's take Tree Rex here, hop to this upper area, see what's going on. Looks like we've got a couple of blocker birds hidden in this cage who are going to need to, you know, potentially be lured out by a Boingo Nut. It looks like we got some villains down here, so let's see what they're up to. They're 
bringing in the reinforcements. So we've got a couple of shred knots here. Let's see if we can use our Skylander to take them out. Now if not, we can always switch back to our villain to help us out. And so really the play between your Skylander and your villain is the best course of action at any time. Now, it looks like these trolls have a few tricks up their sleeves. They shot a couple of these grappling hooks across the level and you're gonna need to destroy them or else those trolls can just keep climbing into the arena. So you wanna take those out as quickly as possible. So really having a character with some speed or as you see with Tree Rex, the ability to run really fast, it's really the best way to take those grappling hooks off of the arena. Now, you saw as they were bringing in the Shred Knot, we were actually able to do some damage as it's being carried in. So really, don't wait for it to land into the arena. Just try and attack it. Because that way, they're completely unable to attack you back, and sometimes you can even defeat them before they land. So I'm going to switch to my Shred Knot here and see if I can go Shred Knot versus Shred Knot. And once again, you can actually see your Skylander receives all of the experience points when you're playing as a villain. So Tree Rex actually leveled up even though we're not playing as him right now. All right, we'll let Shred Knot charge up there. Take out the Lob Goblin here. Yes, yes, I have to admit that when I first saw you teaming up with a bad guy, I was nervous. Nervous and also kind of hungry, but after seeing that and eating a sandwich, I now say boom to this whole arrangement. Yeah, so as we just heard from Flynn, really, eating a sandwich can solve a lot of problems including nervousness and, you know, the ability to feel uncomfortable with playing with a villain. But since you're turning him good, there's really nothing to worry about. So we're in Hatchling Hall, and we need to get that key up there. But, hey, looks like Persephone's here. One of the things that we really liked having in Skylander Swap Force was the ability to upgrade your character in the middle of the level. So you'll find Persephone hidden throughout the levels where you can actually upgrade your characters. Unfortunately, my Tree Rex doesn't have enough coins here. Let's see if I can pick some up. Ah, unfortunately, not enough. So I'm gonna keep playing as them. You know, I can go back to previous levels, explore, find the stuff that we didn't find in our previous level playthroughs, and hopefully I can actually get enough coins to upgrade them and get some really, really cool moves. Or if you've brought your character, you know, from your copy of Giants or Swap Force or even Skylander Spire's Adventure, they'll have all of the upgrades that you had in those previous games now in Skylander's Trap Team. So let's get this key and head on out of here. All right. Looks like we found Freeze. another most wanted villain. Freeze! Aim to freeze. Chill Bill. We're going to take on Chill Bill, a most wanted villain here. Now, what would be better to take on a freezing villain than to bring in a trap master of the fire element to hopefully heat things up a bit? Bringing the heat. All right, now remember, if you ever get frozen by Chill Bill, you can always switch to your villain, unfreeze, and switch back. It's a really great strategy to take out Chill Bill. Chill Bill defeated. Put a water trap in the portal to trap this villain. What will become of Chill Bill? 
All right, to capture Chill Bill, we're gonna need a water trap. So let's toss that in the portal and capture. Remember me as a hero! Hey! What's going on? It's kind of like I am now the one frozen. I do not appreciate this irony. Chill Bill trapped. All right, now that we've captured Chill Bill, let's take control of him and utilize that freeze ray. Chill Bill actually has my favorite theme song in the game. Really, really awesome arena anthem. Now, Chill Bill, as you can see here, can freeze enemies. And it's awesome to use, along with your Skylander, to be able to freeze these guys and then tag team back as your Skylander to take them out. So let's pick up this Boingo Nut, lure this Blocker Bird out of his cage. Allowing us to progress through. Now what's really cool is having these villains like Chill Bill are really, you know, fun to play in combination with your Skylander. So finding the best way to use that villain's power as well as your Skylander's power is really what playing as a trap team is all about. Tag teaming back and forth, freezing enemies, and then shattering them is really what's so much fun about the game. Now I'm showing you a little hidden area here with another one of Flynn's meditations on Boom. Do you ever get that funny feeling like someone is watching you? That's me. Just making sure you're safe. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thankfully we get to hear a little bit of Flynn's history and some of his intelligent thoughts in the Meditations on Boom. So really try and find those story scrolls because they're a lot of fun. And so now that we've got the key, we're going to get access into the aviary. And so the aviary is a really cool area where we're going to be able to bypass these giant eggs rolling down these ramps. And there's a lot of hidden areas. Now, one of the things to watch out for is that those giant eggs can pack a punch. So if you can actually attack them before they hit you, they'll shatter them. And sometimes they have loot inside of them, which you can use to get new abilities for your Skyline. Now remember, always switch back to your villain, give him a freeze, we'll freeze a couple of them, we got him there, and then switch back to your Skylander and use their abilities now that those villains are frozen. So you can see really effective combo there. So let's make our way up the aviary, watching out for any of these giant eggs along the way, making sure we don't get attacked. Now we're going to try and make our way up to the Phoenix Chicken's nest. Along the way, breaking as many barrels as we can so that we can hopefully get enough coins to upgrade Wildfire here at the end of the level. And I already see some troop transports heading up, so let's see if we can beat them there. <clears throat> what do we have here? Yeah. Look like a Skylander come to protect his mama bird from the big bad chef. Uh, I just want to make an extra spicy omelet and blow everyone up. Is that really such a bad thing? Oh, oh look like this Skylander don't want us making a spicy omelet to do. I know, I know, it all sounds crazy to me. So let's get them! All right, now we're seeing our first arena battle. So Chef Pepperjack is actually sending in all his troops. So let's use Chill Bill's frosty jetpack there to slow those enemies down, switch back to our Skylander, and do some massive damage here. Wildfire's heat shield is able to take out enemies. He's got really great combos. And then I also have these fire claws, which will bring him in, allowing me to do that melee attack really up close. Maybe I add a little something new to this bad guy's too. And so not only is Chill Bill able to freeze enemies, but if you can keep 
that beam held on them for a long time, you'll actually pop them, which will actually cause them to explode, sometimes defeating these enemies. Oh, looks like I was stalled, but you can always continue and see if you can cause that freeze explosion. So Chef Pepperjack is calling in reinforcements. I see we got a broccoli guy, some more executioners. So what we're going to want to do is try and take out the broccoli guy first. So that way he's not able to heal any of these guys. Along the way we got to watch out for the Phoenix Chicken's babies. They'll actually attack you if you get too close. But thankfully they'll also attack the villains. All right, got a level up here, which is great. We're gonna need it against the Shrednaut. Let's see if I can freeze him. Unfortunately, it looks like the Shrednaut's too big to be frozen. So now's a great chance to switch back to my Skylander and utilize the combinations to take this guy out. Get to watch for the Shrednaut's saw to jam and really go in when they're weak. All right, stage three. Right, executioners. You always want to try and get rid of their shells before you then go and attack them further. Smash! Who wants a piece of me? Cuckoo Clocker. So Chef Pepperjack has called in the big guns, or the big bird as it is, and this is the Cuckoo Clocker, a giant cuckoo bird who's able to do a massive slam down. So what you want to do is lure him, try and trick him into doing that slam down and attack him while he's charging up for the next Cuckoo punch. Defeated. Put a life trap in the portal to trap this villain. Now what, smart guy? And so now that I've defeated the Cuckoo Clocker, we're gonna use a life trap to capture him. Guess it's bye bye, Birdie! Hey! Hey! I'm in some kind of cage! Well, might as well start singing then. Cuckoo Clocker trapped. All right, we've now captured the Cuckoo Clocker. Well, that didn't go so good, but I still got one more trick up my sleeve. It is I, Chaos! What? How dare you boo my supreme awesomeness? Chaos, your so-called awesomeness is not needed around here. I guarantee I have it totally under control. Ha! Ha, I say! You're just lucky I was passing by. Now observe and see how a true master takes down the Skylanders. Not to mention flawlessly completing my cunning plan of sabotage. Oh boy! We saved the Phoenix Chicken, but Chef Pepperjack made off with one of her eggs for his omelet of spicy doom! Are we sure that's a bad thing? I mean, it sounds delicious! It's a bomb, Flynn, remember? Oh, yeah, 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 we better go after that guy. And probably stop for some lunch right afterwards, because now I'm hungry. So it looks like we saved the Phoenix Chicken, completed the level, and we almost prevented Chef Pepperjack from completing his plan. But unfortunately, he got a hold of one of the spicy eggs, and he's trying to build a spicy omelet of doom. Now what's really cool about defeating this level is that we actually ended it by defeating an arena, which will actually unlock one of Brock's arena challenges in the game, which we'll show you guys in a later video. So thanks for joining me, Portal Masters, and taking a look at the Phoenix Sanctuary. Now along the way we trapped a number of really cool villains, including a Shred Knot in this tech trap, we got Chill Bill in this water trap, and we got the Cuckoo Clocker in this life trap. 
And really now's my favorite part where we add them to our Trap Team Trap Tray Collection. So let's find them on here. I see the Shred Knot. I see Chill Bills up here. Get them in there. And the Cuckoo Clocker. And as you can see, my collection's already growing strong and I've got a great trap team being built. So thank you guys for joining. And if you want, click subscribe and we'll check out some more levels of Skylanders Trap Team.